Welcome back. Let's take you to France now and have a chat about uh, the Prix de Jockey Club, the French derby. Uh, albeit at the time of recording this show, the field hasn't taken full shape as yet. That's right, it's still a good race. Uh, we, um, we broadcast this last year, Joe, as well, and it was a very rough race, wasn't it? Mm. And uh, won by uh, Antoine Amelin as well, as we just saw there in the blue colours. But um, yeah, it is, this race looks better. And uh, the likely favourite might be the one at the bottom, Intello, bred in Germany, trained in France, uh, Chanty by uh, André Fab. He was most unlucky when he was third in the uh, French 2000 Guineas. He was drawn out wide, a wide draw in, in that race as well. You might as well forget about it. And he was only beaten half a length or so. And um, will easily stay the 2100 metres here. Looks the one to be. Okay, a good run in the Prix Foil from Bravadino. That's right. And uh, we shall see if Ocavango can um, boost this form the night before mm. at Epsom. Yes, uh, good performance this day by Bravadino. He's from the last crop of the very high class racehorse and sire. Uh, Dyna former, so would it be ironic really were he to uh, go close in this very famous colours too of the Nearchus family or Flexman holdings as they are now. And uh, nice performance, gets out pointed uh, of course by Akavango, but uh, nevertheless runs a very, very solid race. Won't have any trouble with the trip and won't have any trouble uh, with the ground. The French Derby trip slightly unusual insofar as it's uh, 10 furlongs, but um, it should be a good spectacle. It's a most fantastic race course, Sean T, and it's great viewing. Uh, very, very picturesque. Okay. Well, let's bring up the uh, French 2000 Guineas now. This is a really important replay to look at, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. And you just see how far back in the run that Intello is. Um, not even in shot there. But uh, also, you'll see the horse, the horse called Dastrothon, ridden by Umberto Rispoli. He's about six or seven there, the dark colours. He sneaks through to get grabbed second. And uh, we'll see him also in the French Derby on Sunday night. Now, here he is on the white, on the white outside, Intello. Forging home in the wartime of colours as well. He just had to get so far back out of his ground. And uh, another 10, 20 metres, he wins it. He was very, very unlucky in Tello in that race. Yeah. Style Van Dom is a good horse, the winner. That form um, has been franked slightly um, insofar as um, uh, Gale Force 10, um, who ran well in that race, uh, ran very, very well in the Irish 2000 guineas subsequently. Yeah, he was second last week to Magician, yeah. that's right. So it's, it, it's, it's franked in, in, in some respects. but. The draw was hugely important in both the, the Phillies and the Colts uh, classics in France this year. If you were drawn wide, you had little or no chance. Yeah, that's right. And Intel as well, like, had he drawn eight or nine in midfield, won. he just wins easy. Yeah, yeah. I think mm. so. And um, his, his form was very good. Before that, in England, he won over 1,800 metres at Newmarket. He won the field in six, a listed race, uh, won that comprehensively. He just ticks all the boxes, another horse by Galileo. Mm. Could a horse like Sky Hunter figure in the French Derby uh, coming out of a 2100 metre race win at Maison Lafitte? Yeah, stable companion, uh, also trained by Andre Fab. Could be a huge weekend for the Fab stable, never know. But um, this horse, Sky Hunter, he's three from three and um, wins this race quite well, doesn't he? He does, he wins it quite well. It's not um, unusual, um, and Jerry will, uh, I hope, will probably realise this as well, in France that they go very slow in the races and they went very slow in that particular race. Uh, early on. Now he quickened away well in the style of a very good horse, but sometimes those wide winning margins in France are a bit deceptive. Yeah, it's true. Um, but imagine he'll be, we saw there he was up in the pace, and if, with, if he can get a sort of handy barrier here, he'll be up in the speed again. And he quickened, he responded pretty well mm. in that race, didn't he? So I think he's a, a valid chance for the first three at least. Yeah, absolutely. Delwari? Uh, wasn't one of the primary concerns I had. Um, you fancy him? I quite like him, yeah. yeah. I think he's, um, he's quite a progressive horse, Dalwari. Um, he's two for three, and he's certainly going the right way. He was, or he is a son of more than ready. Now, I would anticipate that the ground in France, as in common with England, is probably going to be on the soft side, but um, that would be slight concerns and breeding with regard to him getting the trip. But he does this quite well, of course. Um, hugely famous colours these of, of His Highness the Aga Khan who's had a marvellous time of things um, over many many years in France and indeed in the UK. I thought he did this quite well. I think he's still learning a lot Dalwari as well and uh, I think he gleaned a lot from that particular race. I can see him hitting the four uh, Dalwari. I don't think he'd be quite good enough to win it. There's lots of uh, stamina on the distaff side as well. He's out of a Sindar mare so he'll have no problem with the trip but uh, he's learning all the time just slightly worried about the ground with him. How do you compare the French and Epsom Derby fields this year? Um, 
I would the French race is gonna throw out a few winners, I would think, and particularly Intello is the one to look out for, and I mm. think he could be he could be anything really, he could be very, very special. Um yeah, I think similar depth. Uh, it's not just all about dawn approach in, in mm. at Epsom and um not just about Intello here, but major players aren't they? Yeah I think the French race is actually a very very good renewal and I think you might see more flamboyant horses coming out of it, really good milers and the horses are going to do very well at middle distances whereas uh, the general makeup of the Epsom field suggests to me that we're looking at some long-term staying prospects so possibly more exciting horses in the French Derby and uh, there's plenty of quality in there as Jerry says I think there'll be a lot of winners come out of the French race more so than Epsom. Mm. It's hard to forget the fairy tale story that came out of the French Derby last year. That's right, yeah. Um, he was a huge price as well in Hong Kong. He was about 30, 35 to 1 or so. The horse that was owned by the baker, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Still counting his money. That's right, yeah. And Sanwar, uh, of course, the winner of the French Derby last year. So we've got so much to look forward to. Uh, we won't be turning our eyes too far away uh, from the television, uh, whether it be in France, Japan or the UK. Yeah, terrific as well. And it's a good programme locally in Hong Kong too, I think. So, um, yeah, exciting and... Um, great feast of racing and it it's is. great for um, people who tune in uh, to this uh, programme in Hong Kong to see the different styles of racing and the different race courses, of course, mm -hmm. in Europe as well. Uh, because they are real good spectacles. Okay. Sean T is beautiful in his own right as well. They go fabulous. past the chateau yeah, there down the absolutely side. Fabulous. It's glorious, yeah. yeah. Magnificent uh, showpiece racetrack, no doubt about that. Sean T in France. So selections for the French Derby. I know it's uh, a little bit difficult at the moment without uh, the field for us being final at this point in time, but Intello? Intello, clearly for me on top. I had from Bravadino, Sky Hunter, and the Irish Horse Indian Chief. I had it slightly the other way around. I'm a big, uh, I was always a big fan of Dynaformer and I like Bravadino as a racehorse. I had him to beat Intello with first cornerstone and third spot owned by Team Valor, who themselves are quite aggressive purchasers of Bloodstock. Frankie de Tory rides him. He's trained by Andy Oliver in Ireland, who broke the mould really by training in the north of Ireland. Uh, where most people don't train flat horses. De Tory rides him. He was a good uh, group winner in Ireland last year in soft ground. I think he can run well. And uh, I think Dalwari will make the fourth. Okay. Gee, there'll be some focus on Frankie, won't there? Well, um, self-inflicted, unfortunately. But, yeah. um, and he's, he's had problems with France as well. It's actually ironic, really, that he, he has to go back to France so soon because that's where the damage was done. And he should have come back riding earlier this week or last week. And then there was a irregularity with the sample. Yeah. It's and not the first and he won't be the last to fall foul of uh, the French It's uh, much more stringent. French uh, policies, yes. Yeah. But um, it's strange as well that they wouldn't divulge why he was kept back from his return, which should have been last Monday week. But anyhow, he's back now, better mm. late than ever. He's waited six months, so another week or so isn't going to hurt him. Mm. OK. Well, much to look forward to uh, across uh, various countries on the weekend. Our live simulcast of the Epsom Derby program starts tomorrow night at 8.30 and on Sunday afternoon at around 20 minutes to 3 you'll see uh, the running of the Yasuda Kinnan which is uh, wedged in between the local racing here in Hong Kong and then 10 o'clock Sunday night, to Jeremy, you and I will be uh, then, covering yeah. the French Derby. Yep, yeah, that's right. Look forward to that. Yeah, it should be a great weekend. Lots to look right. forward to. David, Jeremy, thank you. Pleasure. And Thanks, thank John. you for your company on Racing 360. Catch you across the weekend.